the 300th episode of NBA 2K TV. That's right, 2K TV launched in 2K15. The Timberwolves were all business as they came through the tunnel, determined to give their fans a reason to celebrate tonight. Clouds passing high over the 10th Avenue Bridge and the Mississippi River here in Minneapolis, a gorgeous scene. Welcome, folks, to what promises to be a great Tuesday night of the NBA on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, you'll see the Minnesota Timberwolves going up against the Indiana Pacers. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. And a quick look at how the Minnesota Timberwolves schedule is shaping up. On Wednesday, they'll go up against Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. And then on Friday, they'll be facing Kyrie Irving and the Brooklyn Nets. And for that game against the Jazz, there aren't many other meetings that are as evenly matched as this one. Both teams can give and take punches, and this one, I think, is going to come down to the wire. We are nearly ready for the tip-off, but first, let's hear from our very own David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Carl Anthony Towns is determined to make it work in Minnesota. He says, to build a legacy, we gotta win. I'm gonna do everything I possibly can to keep step by step, brick by brick, building something. A culture that's going to stand here for a long time. It has required a lot of patience, guys. It has indeed, David, thanks. And Greg, at this point in the year, if your system overall doesn't seem to be working, how much can you really change before the offseason? Well, usually a system change would come with a coaching change, but sometimes it's not the system. And sometimes you just need a different voice. And keep in mind, you also have to evaluate that roster and find out if the players on that roster are a good match for the system. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. In the post, it's Sabonis and Turner. The guard pair are Brogdon and Lavert. And it's Holiday in at the three. And for Minnesota, the backcourt guards are Russell and Edwards. Then there's Towns, and it's uh, Torian Prince. And it's Vanderbilt in at the four. Puts it up from 12, and it's Lavert missing. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And it's Towns missing. It's Levert on the wing. Edwards defending. A shot by Sabonis. Nobody around. And the three off target. Edwards against Levert. And there's the call on Malcolm Brogdon. That's his first personal foul. That's his first foul. it up off the inbound and it's sent back by Turner they get a hand on it Towns against Turner it's good on the putback oh how about the finesse there nice little gentle touch on the board and you know when you have that gentle touch those tip ins are easy to come by Now 
Russell pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Well, the more repetition he gets, the more floor awareness you develop. D'Angelo Russell showing a desire to get his teammates involved. Here's a bonus. He's now one for two with that bucket. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Here's Edwards. A beautiful reverse layup. Edwards got his second bucket of the night. Well, you can see Anthony Edwards trying to probe and create an opportunity to get off the dribble drive. Sees that window and exploits it. And Doris, we know that Anthony... Oh! Oh, the sauce. Anthony Edwards rise high and finish over the defender. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Back to Levert. Pass to Sabonis. It's stolen by Edwards. One-on-one -on -one here. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Well, that's the defensive impact of Anthony Edwards making the steal and setting up easy offense. They're in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Russell against Brogdon. Sabonis trying to get open. And Turner took the basket on the assist from Brogdon. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start giving up high percentage looks. That doesn't typically end well. Brogdon kicks to Holland. Brogdon with it. He's picked up by Russell. Turner. That one doesn't go. And Minnesota now the other way. Last time these two teams came together was also in this building. They were able to win it for the home fans. Yeah, it was a narrow win. But in that last meeting, I think foul trouble for the other side may have really just tipped the scale and allowed them to escape with the W. Oh, no doubt. Playing aggressively, forcing the action, that often works in your favor, and it did the last time around. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Timberwolves. They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. Yeah, and I think the other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've gotten off turnovers. The free throw drops for Towns. And Towns not known for his rim protection, but he's improved in that area recently, challenging and changing more shots. The Pacers making a change here. McConnell's checked in. He hits both from the strike. And with Towns, Greg, you knew he had the potential for rim defense, and it became a focus for him. Yeah, and, and a lot of defense is putting in the effort. Credit Towns for improving in that area. And we'll see if he can take another step defensively. Right side Holiday. Shot clock at six. And there's the foul. It's on Towns. That's his first foul. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Pass to Levert. Just four to shoot. Pass to Sabonis from deep three-point range. Really having a difficult time getting anything to fall. Edwards with it. He's picked up by Levert. Edwards, that's good. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Russell against McConnell. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Second team foul. McConnell against Russell. There's the pass to Levert. Poked away. Six to shoot. It's stolen by Edwards. I mean, with the amount of turnovers they've committed, it's no wonder they're in the position they're in right now. How about the creativity, the athleticism? That's a rare combination for a guy his size. Go to work, Cat. 
O'Connell passes to Sabonis. Edwards against Levert. Sabonis kicks to Levert. Minnesota with the ball. They're on a 20 to 4 run right now. And the dunk by Towers. They have been excellent so far, coming in with a well balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want. And defensively, they are connected and on the string. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. And Russell, a player known for his offense, but Greg, he's put in work to improve his play on defense as well. Yeah, you know, Russell was known for his lack of defense there for a while, but he's been trying to improve that part of his game. It's a long road, but I tell you what, he is definitely taking steps. McConnell still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Pass to Levert. Pass to Sabonis. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Sabonis. Sabonis has got his second buck. Boy, you can really see the playmaking evolving. When Paris Levert is hitting wide open teammates, it shows how special he can be. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. The offensive rebound. Minnesota leading by 18. Here's Edwards, and Edwards with the stuff. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. And stolen by Russell. On up the court. And Edwards with the stuff. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. Levert with a wide open look. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Boy, the confidence level you can see in Karis Levert to catch and shoot. It hits his fingertips and he's ready to roll. And if you look at this first half, overall, they've just had the better shot selection. And I think, obviously, we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass just so important. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. And so Edwards will bring it up for Minnesota. They have a 19-point lead. And it's Towns missing. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Levert against Towns. Holiday, no one around him. Just and again, Holiday. it's the Pacers from deep. Now well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Edwards looking it over. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. From 18 feet away, Prince. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Timberwolves lead by 18. So you love the anticipation. The first to get to the basketball first off the glass. Torian Prince doing work right now. On the wing, Holiday. Good. And McConnell Justin gets the assist. McConnell's got three assists Time in the game. For Minnesota. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly.
group substitution now for Minnesota. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Towns. Akogi comes in for Vanderbilt. Daniels is checked in for Torian Prince. And it's Beasley in for Edwards. And it's Beasley finishing it off. And you can see he just has a great overall feel for this game. Excellent job tonight. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Just sloppy basketball in that first half. They just seem a little bit out of sync. Passes it to Reed. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. And the Timberwolves lead by 19. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. And stolen by Russell. Here's Reed. And there's another one for the Timberwolves. Well, they've won the battle of transition buckets, and those easy points have helped them build this lead. Well, this is their pace. This is exactly how they want to play. A little fast, a little loose. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot, hot. And that one, good. Russell's got his third basket of the night right there. Well, an excellent penetrator who is always in attack mode. Go ahead, D'Angelo Russell. Turner passes to McConnell, and it's sent back by Russell. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. And, and this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their play. Well, what great game planning, what great execution. It doesn't get much better than this. And stolen by Russell. And the slam dunk by Russell. And this guy becoming more of a two-way threat. It's all about D'Angelo Russell's activity level. Really nice sequence right there. Indiana's gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Knocks it loose. Stolen by McDaniels. Finish off the break. You gotta love his hustle. Leaving the defense. No time to react. The finish and transition, nice and easy. Now, here's McConnell. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Trills it from outside. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Tries from the block, and it's McConnell with the rebound. For the Pacers, they come in off a loss to the Timberwolves in Minnesota. Here he goes. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That's his first Even foul. from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. The Pacers shooting their first foul shots of the night here. And their success rate on the season right around 77%. First free throw is good. And some changes here for the Pacers. Brissett comes in for Sabonis. And it's Lamb in there for T.J. McConnell. Both free throws good from Craig. Minnesota leading by 22. Here's Beasley. That shot is off target. That makes him two for three. For Indiana, they come into this one following a loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Forte shot good. Outstanding pass on time and on target. And Beasley has the ball here for the Timberwolves. Driving the lane, and it's Beasley finishing it off. Straight. Homie, I mean, he ripped it down <laughs> with both hands. Absolutely a resounding dunk. Indiana's gone 4 Two 6 from long range here early on. And Lamb kicks to Turner. Here's Duarte Indiana by Beasley. And the foul on Miles Turner. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul.
they've shared the load offensively. And guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react, and that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. The pass to Craig. Back to Lamb. Tipped away. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so it's Minnesota with it. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. Here's a Kogi. Nice shot from 10 feet out. Well, it's critical that Josh and Kogi connect right here. The mid-range jumper was available. Knock it down. On the wing, Turner. And uh, 101 left to play in the first. Torrey. Right on the bucket. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Pass to Turner. Shot from the top of the key. Rebound, Minnesota. They defeated Indiana in their last game. Uh, they played terrific defensively. The few cracks they showed, guys were quick to rotate and help each other out. We talk about multiple efforts on the defensive end, and I thought, boy, that was good old-fashioned focus, team effort. What a win. Lamb passes to Arte. Puts it up from 12. Pass to Brissette. Turner trying to free himself up. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Shoots from 14. And there's another one for the Timberwolves. And, and loving the hustle here early. I mean, they struck first on the offensive glass. And Craig has it in the corner. Buries it from three-point range. Craig's got 10 points. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Anthony Edwards has been leading the charge for the Minnesota Timberwolves. He caused a lot of headaches with his defense that quarter. Coming up with steals again and again. We've got more in store for you right after this. And one of the league leaders in steals and deflections, T.J. McConnell explains how he causes havoc on the floor. It's all about just reading the way they're passing the ball in. Um, if I see a moment of weakness where they dislodge and give me a chance to get in and get my hand in there, I try to take advantage of it. He does. He is all hustle. An undrafted pack in 2015. But that energy and effort is what's earned McConnell his a place in this league. First team foul. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Timberwolves team out there. Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. Russell in the backcourt with Beasley to his side. Then it's Nas Reed. And it's a Kogi in at the power forward position. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Timberwolves. And we all know that star players get a few more perks, but Greg, that can also stir up misgivings in a locker room when things aren't always equal. Kevin, that's a great point. And, and coaches really have to be careful. If you're holding one player accountable and giving another a pass, that tends to lead to a fractured locker room. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Good evening, Kevin. Malcolm Brogdon has become a Pacers stalwart. He said, I fit the identity of this team as an underdog that overperforms and proves to the wrong. It has to be the leader of this team. I lead with my voice and by example. I'll be fearless on the court so that my teammates can follow. Kevin? I love what he's about, David. Thank you.
First one falls for him. Both shots good from a strike. Indiana's gone to three-point range seven times tonight. Knocked down five of them. Here's Duarte. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Duarte's got his second bucket tonight. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Count that bucket. And that's 13 points for Beasley. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Knocked loose. And now Russell pushing it up. No one back to stop him. It's blocked. They get it back. Reed. And he uses the glass on the way. Reed's got six. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Passes to Craig. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Here's Brissett. And a great okay, assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. From Brogdon's got Brogdon. his third assist on the night. The Timberwolves have gone four of six in the field here in the second and Beasley, here we go. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. And although he's a little undersized as a shooting guard, Beasley is still a great rebounder. Yeah, and can regularly hit double-digit totals in that area. Very quick to the ball. Always nice to have a great rebounding guard. No good from Beasley. For Indiana, they've gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Basket counts. Lamb's got four points in the quarter. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. And the Timberwolves call timing. The loudest and craziest fans get a free t-shirt. Let's see it, fans. Minnesota making some changes. Towns, he's checked in for Reed. Torian Prince comes in for Josh Okoge. And it's Edwards in for Malik Beasley. Justin Holliday's checked in for the Pacers. Karis Levert comes in for Lamb. That one falls. Russell's got 12. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. And they get it back. Brogdon outside. Kicks to Holliday. And there's the pass to Levert. Just five on the clock. From deep. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Sabonis, he's checked in for Tory Craig. Sabonis. Timberwolves have gone six and nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Not enough on that one as it misses. Indiana's gone. Five of eight from three-point land. 15 points and a deep ball for them tonight. That's tipped and stolen by Russell. Here's Lehman. Here's Prince. Here's Towns. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. He's got eight. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. 
It feels like Malcolm Brogdon, with every repetition, turns that passing from excellent to elite. And here's Holiday, who will bring it up for Indiana. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. Knocks down the three ball. How about the timing? Can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Here's Russell. And too long on the shot. Indiana's gotten two-thirds of their three-pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. Holiday with it. Guarded now by Prince. And it's blocked. And so it looks like the Pacers will retain possession here. On defense, Minnesota. Pass to Holiday. Down low, Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. I'll tell you, DeMontis Sabonis has got some big-time athleticism. That's a pretty dunk. Here's Edwards. And that time, also a missed shot. Indiana's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. And there are the Pacers with Justin another bucket. Holiday. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Here's Edwards. Another miss by Minnesota. Pacers have gone 8 of 13 in the second quarter. Well above the 50% mark from the field. And he comes up with the deuce. Levert's got his second bucket of the game to go. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Edwards. And Edwards with the stop. Boy, defense is no answer for Anthony Edwards' athleticism. What a dunk. Brogdon with it. Again at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. Pass to Levert to the paint. Here's Brissett. Power down after the assist. Let him into the lane. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Keep that bucket in in no time at all. Russell's got six points in the quarter. Well, this is the go-to shot for D'Angelo Russell. The rise and fire off the dribble. Great open look there. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Timberwolves leading by 22. Russell finds Edwards. He can't get it to go. Great D that time from Levert. It's Brogdon on the wing. That's good. That's Levert with the assist. Brogdon's got nine. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. And a strong finish with two hands. Now fast off his feet and up at the rim in a hurry. Torian Prince with an easy one. And here are the Pacers now. They're on a 19-6 run. Here's Brissett. He has six. Passes it to Levert to the inside. Holiday gets the bucket. 13 points in the game. They are just killing them on the interior. Here's Towns and the dunk by Towns. That's a message by Carl Anthony Towns. Throws it down with authority. Here's Brogdon. He had 25 points last game. Ball's not loose. And here we go. Towns heading to the hoop. That's good. He's five for nine. Well, it looks like he has put that rough first quarter in the rear view. He's starting to cook here in the second. Edwards with it. He's picked up by Levert. Russell dishes to Edwards. Well time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. 16 points for Anthony Edwards. Indiana's gone three or four with the long-range bombs here in the second quarter. Russell against Brogdon. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Another foul will give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Vanderbilt's checked in for Jake Lehman. The Pacers also with a sub. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Malcolm Brogdon. It's Russell with the drive. And he banks in the lane. Russell's got eight points here in this quarter. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Levert kicks to McConnell. The pass to Holiday. 
good on the shot. Justin Holiday's got 15 points. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. Russell finds Prince. Here's Towns. An easy two points on the way. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Inside, here's Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. And guys, he's Paris not an Uber. easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Outside Holiday. Three-pointer. And the Pacers on another three. And, and let's see, guys, if that triggers another little explosion from him after hitting three triples in that first quarter. And Towns the bucket on the assist from Edwards. He's got 16. Well, strength and the ability and willingness to embrace, absorb, and finish through contact. Carl Anthony Towns. That's about reading the floor. Hits his man right where he wanted it. Timberwolves leading by 22. Edwards drives in, and Edwards with the stop. Okay, two hands for safety. That's, that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. And so it's McConnell with it. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. And slam dunk by Sabonis. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Here's Edwards. And again, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Takes it inside, and it's sent back by Russell. Well, that's the energy and effort that D'Angelo Russell brings on the defensive end. This guy's got the ability to be a factor there. Ooh, he put a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. Two minutes remaining in that. And stolen by Russell. And now Russell pushing it up. No one back to stop him. That one good for two. Russell's got 10 points in the quarter. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. And the Pacers call time here. Definitely not pleased with their rebounding at the defensive end. The, the number of putbacks they've allowed has been terrible. I'm sure that's what he's going to address during this timeout. for Minnesota. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Towns. McDaniels comes in for Torian Prince. And it's Malik Beasley in for Edwards. Here's Forte. No good on the quick three. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. Nicely done. Malik, they continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. And Jared Vanderbilt gets the whistle that time. Jared that is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. One twenty-five left in the first half of the game. Here's Lamb. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Minnesota shooting an unbelievable 70%. You won't see a performance like this too often. And another assist. Dishing it all over the place in this one. He's tallying them up in bunches. There's 57 seconds left in the second quarter. And slam dunk by Sabonis. 
Yeah, just a simple one-hand flush. I think he got a few more inches on his vertical by going with the spike. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pacers will take it. Tory Craig, he's checked in for the Pacers. Indiana's gone four or six from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. McConnell passes to Lamb. Back to McConnell. Banked in off the glass. McConnell's got his first basket. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. They get it back. They shoot again. And it's Beasley laying it in. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. McConnell against Russell. Here's Forte. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. McConnell's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. And again, the turnover by the Timberwolves. Knocks it loose. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Russell. Here's Duarte. Off target from three-point range. Here's Beasley. No good on that one. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much with Rick Carlisle. Coach, what needs to happen on the defensive end to get back on track? Well, a lot of things need to get better. Uh, our level of force defensively is not there. We got to pick it up. You know, we got to play with a lot more collective force. We'll see if you can bring the noise more as the game goes on. Thanks very much. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. It was all Anthony Edwards all the time in the first quarter. He ended up with 22 points, two assists, and one rebound. And uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? They played smart, they took their time, and limited mistakes. When you value each possession, you eventually will get the shot you want. But when you lose the ball, you have no control over the ball. Shaq, your take on Indiana. And one of the main reasons they're down right now is because of their rebounding problems. They're getting outworked, outclassed, not bringing the intensity, not willing to get their hands dirty. They're playing like wimps. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You know, Anthony Edwards has been exceptional here, guys. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. And with the second half upon us, We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. On the court for Indiana. The guard pair of Brogdon and LaVert. In the post, Indiana it's Sabonis ball. and Turner. And it's Holiday in at the three spot. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. a piece of it. Hands of the Timberwolves with another turnover. 
Bounds down low. He's guarded by Brogdon. Levert from outside. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Three points. Brogdon's got his seventh assist here tonight. In Malcolm Brogdon doors, we've got a player who's won more than his share of individual accolades. Right, think about it. In college, he was the first player to win both the ACC Player of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year awards, and then topped it off by winning Rookie of the Year back in 17. Not a bad resume, guys. The free throw drops for Towns. Well, Carl Anthony Towns, one of those five men that you can play in a big lineup, you can play in a small lineup, because of the diversity of his offensive game, you can mix his spots on the floor. So important. And Towns drops them both. And so it's Brogdon who brings up the ball for the Indiana Pacers. Poked away, and that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain Indiana possession. He swipes the ball away again. He's making history. Tied for third most steals in a single game. Incredible tenacity. He continues to hound the ball. Towns with the bucket. You can see the wide variety of ways that Carl Anthony Towns can put points on the board. There isn't an aspect of the offensive end of the floor that he doesn't do well. And that one, good. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Whoa, that'll wake you up. He is such a great athlete. Knocked away. It's stolen by Edwards. Up the floor. Stolen by Levert. Now the Pacers moving it up. Nice D from Russell. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. A Torian Prince can be a problem for defenders on the drive because he's strong and he's long. The Timberwolves shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about 76%. Two shots. And that one falls for Prince. What we know about Torian Prince is he's a terrific competitor who knows he's going to lay it all out on the floor every night. For coaches, that is such an invaluable trait. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Pacers have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. And Holiday with the basket on the assist from Brogdon. Holiday's got 20. I tell you, he's making everything he looks at tonight. He should be their number one option on every possession. Second chance shot. Vanderbilt's shot is good. You want to talk about a perfect performance? He hasn't missed a shot all night. Incredible. Brogdon the pass to Levert. Outside Holiday. Just five to shoot. A shot by Brogdon wide open. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Boy, excellent start to the second half. They've missed just once in five attempts. Prince misses. For Indiana, they've gotten four of the first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. They get a hand on it, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Russell. 
Pacers ball. Minnesota making a switch. Okogie's checked in. Josh Okogie. Rocked in against Russell. On the wing, Holiday. Five on the clock, and a great assist Justin by Brogdon Holiday. as that one goes in. He's got 22. Well, he's done his part. No doubt about it. Still yet to miss in the game. From deep, Prince. And they'll get another chance. The momentum continues to go their way. Pretty much the story of the game. Controlling the defensive glass has been a problem here tonight. Rocked in the pass to Sabonis. The feed to Turner. And it's slammed in by Turner. How about that? He's seven feet tall. And Miles Turner, because of that ability to move in any direction at any moment, is a big-time problem inside. Towns with the bucket. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. There's real synergy in play right now on the offensive end. The pass was right where it needed to be. Edwards drives in. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. That's his third personal foul. Third team. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Had a success rate on the line last year of about 78%. Minnesota making some changes. Jake Lehman comes in for Torian Prince. And it's Beasley in for D'Angelo Russell. One shot. And Edwards, no good on that one. Well, Anthony Edwards has the kind of frame and skill set that can make him a force. But it all comes down to paying the price of putting in the Josh work now. Okogie. Oh, and there's the foul. It's on Josh Okogie. That first is his foul. first foul of the game. On the wing, Turner, defended by Towns. Turner passes to Brogdon. And the dunk to finish it off. Brogdon. Ah, beauty. How about that? Malcolm Brogdon with a little bounce in his step. Pretty dunk. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Hey, you you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. And so it's Indiana with it. Now Levert. Nine points in the game so far. Pass to Sabonis. To the inside. Here's Turner. That falls. Nice speed that time from Sabonis. Turner's got eight points. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Here's Edwards. Jones trying to get open. I think his teammates understand that Anthony Edwards has every aspect of his offensive game working, so let's make sure he's got the basketball. Brogdon has got the ball here for the Indiana Pacers. Floats one up. Edwards with the block. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Timberwolves. We see them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. Yeah, and one more stat that jumps out is their steal total. They have wreaked havoc on the defensive end. And the Timberwolves call time from the sideline. Let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Alden. Good evening, Kevin. Now, the NBA does get high marks for its diversity, but there is some frustration on that front when you look at head coaches and front office positions. All-star Carl Anthony Towns said, men of color deserve a chance to lead a team, run an organization, and make their mark not just with a jersey on, but with a suit on. Guys? Thank you, David.
Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Indiana's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Knocked loose to the paint. The 10-footer. Duarte shot good. Duarte's got nine points. The Timberwolves shooting 69%, showing you what a well-oiled offense looks like tonight. They get the rebound. Lehman. And the shot goes in. And you can see the second chance points now starting to be a major factor. Edwards against Brogdon. And there's the a bonus. That's bonus. good on the assist from Brogdon. Brogdon's got Brogdon. his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. Now it's one of the things most fans don't notice, but Malcolm Brogdon, Greg, is one of the best free throw shooters ever. How about had a year where he shot 93% from the line to lead the NBA and for his career, just about a 90% shooter. That's a huge advantage for a point guard like Brogdon, a guy who handles the ball late in close games. Minnesota's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Pass to Okogie. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Here's Lehman. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. In the corner, it's Brogdon. is it to Levert. Wants to get it to Turner and does. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting Malik free throws here. Beasley. That's it's going to be on Malik Beasley. Right, this is the size of Miles Turner because he's so skilled at using it to pick up these fouls. The Pacers have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And he makes the first. And Kevin, when we talk about new age bigs in the NBA, one of the first I think of is Miles Turner. Uh, here's a guy who has led the league in blocks, but can also stretch the floor. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. Reed comes in for Towns, and it's McDaniels in for Jake Lehman. And so he makes both from the line. In 2018-19, not only did Turner lead the NBA in swats, he also shot almost 40% great on his three. And you go back just like 10 years ago, you'd never think we'd see players with the skill set of Turner. But this is how the game has evolved, and guys like Turner are just so valuable for teams to have. McConnell passes Duarte, and they recover it. Snatched up. It's deflected. Oh, Josh Kogi putting all that athleticism to good use there on the defensive end. And it's sent back by Turner. And he's able to get it back. Indiana's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. It's stolen by Edwards. And they're moving it up. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. Well, it's all about hard and hustle. If Kogi gets out in transition, that's a nice finish. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Simply put, out of control is how they play thus far. They're going to have to reel it in to show some more discipline. And here's Edwards. He has 29. Now here's Beasley, buries it down low. Beasley's got four this quarter. The Pacers shooting 66% right now. This offense getting everything they want out there. On the wing, Turner. And the pass to Arte. That falls. Nice feed that time from Turner. 
Turner's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here's McDaniels. And finished off by McDaniel. Well, unselfish play by Anthony Edwards. Teammate is wide open. He puts it right where it needs to be. 15 fouls. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. For Minnesota, Jaden McDaniels. Shooting one. One shot. And that one misses. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for the Pacers. McConnell finds Turner. Here's Lamb. And it's McDaniels with the rebound. McDaniels got his fourth rebound in this one. And Edwards with the stop. You want easy looks? Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. To the middle. And McConnell gets it to go. McConnell's got his second basket of the game. Well, what a job. Punching the ball to the interior and finishing in the paint. Nice. Now here's Edwards. He's guarded closely. Indiana's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. And McDaniels with the block. There's the steal. Out to the right wing. The wide open look here for Craig. Torrey he trains the quick shot. Assisted. Craig's got 14 points for the game. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. And Edwards with the stop. This guy is so explosive. Anthony Edwards off the bounce. My goodness. And so it's Indiana with it. McConnell with it. Taking a look at the scoring numbers, right now he averages about nine points a game. Torte shot good. Minnesota's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Here's a Kogi. The rebound by Turner. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Pass to Craig. Outside, Lamb. Indiana moving the ball around. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. And they get it back. The Timberwolves shooting it as well as you're going to see. 67%. Okogi. Some solid defense there from Lamb. Pacers shooting an incredible 64% from the field in this game. Down low. Craig, good. Torrey. Craig's got six in the quarter. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. And it's Beasley finishing it off. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Getting the right finish hard with two hands on that stuff. And uh, 101 left to play in the third. And out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. This is one of those nights. Mistake after mistake, a comedy of errors. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Vanderbilt's checked in for a Kogi. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for Edwards. And the Pacers also making a change. Brissett's checked in. Here's Vanderbilt. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Russell, he's checked in for Minnesota. D'Angelo Russell. There's 49 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. The Timberwolves again can't hit. To the inside, McConnell, a good finish at the rack off the slick feet. The assist. McConnell's got six. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And it's Russell missing. Indiana's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Pass Duarte. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. Duarte's got nine points now in just the second half. 
The Timberwolves shooting in the third quarter has been brilliant up around 58%. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. You can see the assertiveness right now of D'Angelo Russell. He welcomes the contact and powers and plays right through it. And he's got his first chance at the line here. For your Timberwolves, D'Angelo Russell. One shot. What's up? What you love about D'Angelo Russell is his commitment to work. Though he's played for a couple of teams, this guy brings it every day. Here's Duarte, passes it to Craig. Here's Lamb, misses there. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've got a big advantage in the turnover stats because of their intense defense. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision-making at every position. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, we've got Prince. He's out there with McDaniel. And it's Vanderbilt in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. To the paint, here's Bitonze. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Balmaro, the pass to Noel. Now, here's McDaniel. This is to Prince. To the right side. Shot clock at five. Vanderbilt. There's Noel. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. Pacer shooting has been just fantastic around 65% tonight, getting exactly what they want when they want it. Poke loose. Wanamaker, the pass to Bitadze. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. A three ball. And there's the foul. And it's on Torian Prince. That's his first foul. Lehman, he's checked in for Torian Prince. the floor for your Timberwolves, Jake Lehman. Here's Lamb. Great play most of your career in the 90s. The game has really changed. Less physical, more skilled, but what role has the league played in all of that change? Well, the NBA is at the forefront of these changes. The competition committee that they have that meets annually to discuss ways to try to improve the game. Listen, they're not gonna always knock it out of the park, but you have to keep thinking forward. And, I applaud the league for their attempts to try to improve this game. And, and the Timberwolves making a change here. Towns has checked in. Justin Holliday's checked in for Indiana. Uncovered. Wow, that makes him a perfect 10 for 10. Double-digit perfection. How about the inbound pass there? Easy bucket. The pass to Balmore. Here's Lehman, covered by Mark. Here's Vanderbilt. Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just 10 shots. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. 
and that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. And there's the foul. It's on Towns. That'll be his second foul of the game. First team foul. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. And Holiday kicks to Martin. Five to shoot. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And so it's Towns with it. He brings it up for the Timberwolves. They've got the Wizards ahead of them. Their next game in Washington. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Craig, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. The Pacers have gone an outstanding 4 or 5 from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his second personal We're seeing a lot of top high school players opting for the G League over college now, Craig. What's your advice to top young players on their path to the NBA? And well, Kevin, I think you just answered it. It's their path. And I, and I don't think the same path is right for everybody. There are going to be a lot of talented young men and women who want to go to college for the experience, uh, you know, for the environment, uh, for the networking, right? So you're going to make some of the best friends you'll ever have in, on a college campus. Having said that, though, some kids aren't in the college, aren't in the school. They want to just go and pursue their passion and their, their craft. And that's why I think the G League and the developmental leagues that are out there are so good for these young players. All three throws good from Craig. Minnesota's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Here's Paul Morrow. Good on the triple. Paul Morrow's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. Outside, Martin. Pass to Bitadze. Down to five on the shot clock. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Noel passes to Vanderbilt, and he throws it down hard with one hand. Oh, what a pretty pass. Throw to the open spot. Lead your teammate perfectly. Outside, Mark. Pass to Craig. Shot left block. Vanderbilt with the block. And it's Towns. Oh. Now, this is what separates Carl Anthony Towns from other players his size. That quick first step to get to the drive game. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Minnesota's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here on the fourth. And just a couple years ago, Doris, it seemed in it like bigs were a dying group in the NBA. Then last season, two of the top MVP candidates were centers. There was so much conversation that true five men, the center position, was no longer in vogue. And then all of a sudden, look what happens. Nikola Jokic and Joel Embiid were neck and neck for long stretches of the season. Both five men, both highly skilled. To me, it's always about can you play the game or can you not play the game? And those two men, they can play. Uh, this guy is just such a load to handle. Carl Anthony Towns spends a lot of time shooting free throws. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Towns. Yeah. 
And Towns drops them both. The Pacers have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. That's tipped. Minnesota time calls timeout. Time out. Call and sometimes Minnesota. from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. to Vanderbilt. Here's Towns. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. He a foul. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. And the usual order was upset last season in more ways than one. Five out of the final eight teams, Doris, in the playoffs had never won a title before. Kevin, I think for the long-term health and viability of the league, the more teams with an opportunity to win the championship, the better off. We saw new stars get their first opportunity to win a championship. Giannis Antetokounmpo, one of the hardest workers, one of the most humble superstars, goes out and wins it. It was so fun to cover. Wanamaker, the pass to be touched. Indiana moving it around. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. For the three. Good. That one on target from Noel. Well, that's a case where your teammates are showing trust in you, and he comes through with flying colors. The pass to Wanamaker. Tipped away. And now Minnesota on the fast break. Finish off the break. In the flick of a switch going from defense to offense. Well, just terrific anticipation to force the turnover and ignite the break. There's the drive, and it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. And the Timberwolves call time. Well, so Greg, for those of us who have never played in the league, what's it like traveling all over the country over the course of a long regular season? Come on, Kevin. I bet you had a nice J back in the day. But seriously, it's a whirlwind tour, man. Sometimes you don't even know what city you wake up in. And I can tell you there have been many times where I've gone back to the front desk complaining because my key didn't work and only to find out I was using the wrong key. up top he kicks to Martin pass to Craig puts it up from 12 there's Bitadze 
and they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. Lehman gets the bucket. And you can see now they're starting to push the tempo to good effect. The Pacers have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50% to the middle. Here's Martin and the rejection by Towns. Inside, here's Bitadze. Back to Wanamaker. Martin wide open. He fires. Hangs home the trifecta. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Minnesota's gone 2 of 5 on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Noel tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Boy, with his shot not Justin falling right Holiday. now, it might be time the to assist. look in a different direction. Brad See Wanamaker. if you can get your teammates started. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Here's McLaughlin. It's a hand on it, and it's Towns on the follow. Towns has got nine points now in the quarter. It's not just the scoring productivity that makes Carl Anthony Towns great. It's his willingness to mix it up and rebound the basketball. Here's Bitadze. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Well, this quarter has been all about this guy. He is trying to close the gap in the score. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. Wanamaker, the pass to be Thompson. Outside, Martin. He feeds it to Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Pass to be Thompson. And he says, right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. They get it back. And Carl Anthony Towns again. Towns has got 40 points. Well, just tremendous persistence from Carl Anthony Towns. Even under duress, the ability to stay focused. Naz Reed, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Brissett has checked in for the Pacers. T.J. McConnell comes in for Justin Holiday. Here's McLaughlin. Offensive rebound. Here's Reed. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from if you want to command the defender's respect. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Elbow shot is on the way. Kept alive, Minnesota. And that's a nice job on the offensive glass there. That, that'll let them work the clock even more. Here's McConnell. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Pull up Jay. Here's Lehman. And it goes down two points. When, when you're trying to claw your way back into a game, you cannot allow second chance opportunities. Well, how about the effort on the glass? Even with this lead, I love that they're still going after it. Here's Martin. Passes to Brissette. And the layup's good off the glass. Well, that's a defensive breakdown. You, you can't let him get that deep. One of your keys defensively is do your work early and push him out of his comfort zone. McLaughlin, no good. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. And so it looks like the Pacers will retain possession here. Timberwolves on defense. Martin from outside, rebounded by the Timberwolves. Noel's got his fourth rebound in this one. Over McConnell. Here's Reed. Here's Lehman. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. Here's Wanamaker. Two free throws Two coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Doris in the landscape of the NBA, there are 13, those organizations that seem to have a hard time building a winner. Pacers. What is it they and lack, in your opinion, that's holding them back? Well, success in any field of endeavor usually involves a multi-pronged effort. 
So in the NBA, it starts with ownership. Are they committed to winning? Then you have to look at your front office. Do they do a good job drafting talent? Do they understand what goes into team building and quality trades? To the head coach, how modern is he and what is his philosophy? Down to it's about the players ultimately. Do you have the stars that can drive winning? And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Minnesota's gone a disappointing two of six on three-point attempts here in the fourth. Knocked away. Fast break. Here two comes Indiana. In two minutes. Outside, Mark. Top of the key, Wanamaker. To the inside. Itadze, in it goes for the eighth time in 10 tries. What an excellent post-entry pass. Good things happen when you make that next look. Outside, Mark. One thirty-three left in the fourth quarter. They grab their own miss. The shot's good from Batase. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Minnesota. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And it'll advance their win total up to 12 on the season. And in a three-game season series, they take the first two. And certainly, they've had the edge in this matchup. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Anthony Edwards. Boy, whatever was needed, he provided it. He was the jack of all trades. Big bucket on one end, big defensive play on the other. I thought his influence was felt all over the floor. The pass to be touched. And he goes in for the dunk. Yeah, outstanding job there That's of taking the ball. harm and still able to finish. Minnesota calls timeout. They're up by 25. Shooting one. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Timeout call for Minnesota. Who wants the DJ? present our New Balance Player of the Game, Malcolm Brogdon. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. There's 45 seconds left in the game. Here's McConnell. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Here's Reed. They get it again. Pass to Noel. Puts up a three. He can't get that one to fall. And so here is Indiana. 
Here's Wanamaker. Rips down the breakaway slam. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Poke loose. And so it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Michael, the key to this game for the team tonight? Um, it was just a team effort. You know, we moved the ball on defense. We were trying to help everybody out and be in the right spots all the time, and we were able to come up with a win. Part of a rebuilding team here, Michael. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.